Formulas are incredibly powerful mathematical equations that let you calculate values using topics and topic properties in your map. In this video, you'll learn how to create and edit your own formulas to help you make smarter business decisions. Let's dive right in and learn how to use this powerful tool. When it comes to creating formulas in Mind Manager, there are three terms that you need to be familiar with. Topic properties, values, and topic ranges. Topic properties hold the values that are used in your formulas to create calculations, and they're the first item you need to set up. To start, create a map similar to this one. Now select the main topic, then click the Properties button under the Insert tab. In this pop-up window, you will be creating a topic property for the main topic of your map. In this example, name the property Total. Now set the type of value for your topic property, such as percentage, currency, or other number. For this formula, choose Number and then press OK. Now, the main topic has a topic property assigned to it. You can edit the property at any time by either double-clicking the topic property itself or by clicking on the icon and selecting Define Topic Properties from the drop-down. Next, you'll assign properties to each subtopic. Select the subtopic, then click the Properties button in the ribbon. In this example, you'll create three properties. Name the first one Property A. To create additional properties, click New and name each one. Then press OK. You can copy any topic property onto any subtopic by simply dragging and dropping. This is a fast and easy way to set up a large number of properties. Next, let's assign values to a topic property. Click on the space next to each property and assign a value to it. Repeat this process to assign values to the other subtopics. Now that we have our topic properties and values, let's examine topic ranges. Topic ranges refer to a specified set of topics that are defined in a formula in order to compute a number. Define your topic range by using these three subtopics to compute the total. Select the main topic and click on the Formulas button in the Insert tab of the ribbon. In the Formulas bar, you can create and edit formulas using the topics and values in your map. Create a new formula by clicking the plus icon. Place your cursor between the two brackets then click the Insert Topic Property button and choose the topic property called Total. To the right of the equal sign, you can add topic ranges, functions, and other mathematical symbols needed to create the formula. Click to the right of the equal sign, then click on the Insert Function button and select Sum. The next step is to insert the topic range and its corresponding properties that will be used to build the formula. With your cursor between the parentheses, click on the Insert Topic Range button. From the drop-down menu, you can choose topic ranges that are higher or lower in hierarchy based on which topic you have selected. You can even create topic ranges that include floating topics. Choose Children when you're referring to subtopics one level down from the main topic. Now, Let's identify the specific topic property values in the children. And don't worry about the error message. It comes up whenever the formula isn't completed yet. To target our topic range's individual properties, click to the left of the last parentheses. Then choose Property A from the Insert Topic Property dropdown. The formula is now set to have the total, calculate the sum, of all the children topics property A values. The final step is to accept the current formula by clicking the green check. 
Now we can see the formula in action. Any formula created will also be listed in the Map Index pane under the Elements tab. We can now edit the formula so that it targets both property A and C within each subtopic when calculating the final sum. To edit the formula manually, just click anywhere inside the formulas bar. Once inside, you can add another property into the equation. Click to the left of the last parentheses to add an operator. Operators are mathematical symbols you've probably seen before. The plus and the minus are two common operators. Other operators include the asterisk and the forward slash. In this example, you'll only be using the addition operator. Type in the plus symbol. A drop-down window will appear to help you complete your selection. Insert the property you want to target, which is property C. Now, we're telling Mind Manager to find the sum of all property A values within this topic range and to add all property C values within the same topic range. Once you press the green check button, your total value automatically updates the result. The total now reflects the sum of all children topics A and C property values. Keep in mind that your formula can also be adjusted on the fly. Removing or filtering topics and subtopics will update the total automatically based on the remaining topic arrangement. The Mind Manager Formulas feature makes it easy to calculate all types of equations, whether you're creating a budget, tracking project expenses, or evaluating strategic options.